Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. The holidays are here and many are cooking a turkey. But you might want to make something else. A dish that is delicious, easy and elegant to serve for special occasions. I actually have an awesome recipe that is exactly what you're looking for. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my coq au vin. Packed with flavor, this scrumptious French poultry dish is perfect to serve during the holidays. Not only it is different, but it's also a beautiful meal to surprise your guests. So my friends, let's get cooking. First, we'll make the flour mixture. In a medium mixing bowl, we'll add all-purpose flour, garlic salt, and herbe de Provence. We'll whisk the ingredients until blended before transferring half of it in a large resealable plastic bag. Now, we'll place half of our boneless, skinless chicken thighs in the bag, close it, and shake it so the chicken is coated. It's important to dredge the chicken well because that will give a nice crust on the meat plus extra flavor to the dish. Next, we'll shake each piece to remove any excess flour and transfer to a large plate. We'll add the remaining flour to the bag and coat the rest of the thighs. When it's done, we'll move on to the stove. In a large oven-proof saucepan over medium heat, we'll add three tablespoons of clarified butter. And when it's hot, we'll add the thighs. You should be able to fit them all in the pan, but if not, work in batches, okay? So we'll cook them for about eight minutes per side or until brown. We'll season the chicken with ground sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Then we'll drizzle some cognac all over Warm it up for a couple seconds before flop it. Terry and Dorothy, this shot is for you. <laughs> so we'll let it burn until it goes out on its own. To this, we'll add shallots and pressed garlic. We'll quickly saute all the ingredients for one minute. Next, we'll add one cup of dry red wine. It's a matter of preference because some chefs will add dry white wine instead. I prefer red. Then we'll cook it down until the liquid reduces by half, deglazing the pan at the same time by scraping the bun. We want to dislodge all the beautiful brown bits from the bun. While it's reducing, we'll make a bouquet garni. So in a small bowl, we'll combine ground thyme dried rosemary, dried chervil, but you can always substitute with tarragon, dried basil, celery seeds, and freshly ground black pepper. We'll give a little whisk to blend the spices before transferring them to one of those little sachets. They can be found at any specialty kitchen store or online. Otherwise, Simply use a cheesecloth and tie it up with some kitchen twine. Now, back to the stove. When it's nicely reduced, we'll add a basic brown sauce. I'm not showing you how to make this particular sauce, but to learn how, click on the top right corner of your screen. We'll add our bouquet garni and season a little more with ground sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. We'll stir everything very well, making sure the sachet is submerged, and we'll let it cook for 15 minutes, stirring occasionally. When time is up, we'll transfer it to a 350 degree preheated oven and cook for 15 minutes. Meanwhile, we'll do the next step. In a large saucepan over medium heat, we'll add one tablespoon of clarified butter. And when it's hot, we'll drop in our pearl onions. We'll saute them for a couple minutes, flipping often, so we get them roasted a bit. Next, we'll add the mushrooms, 
But before doing that, we'll have to remove the stamps. See? Just like this. And discard the stamps. We'll add the mushrooms to the onions, and to make them sweat a little, we'll sprinkle on some ground sea salt and add some freshly ground black pepper. You know me, right? Like with the onions, we'll saute them, flipping them often for the next two to three minutes. Then we'll pour in two tablespoons of red wine. Is it optional? Mm, not really, because not only will it help to soften these ingredients, but also add more flavor. We'll cook them until the wine is all gone, about two more minutes. We'll turn off the heat from the burner, then remove the saucepan from the oven and dump in our onion mushroom mixture. We'll mix them into our cacao vin, cover, and transfer back to the oven. We'll cook it for another 15 minutes. When time is up, we'll carefully remove from the heat and using tongs, we'll remove our little sachet of bouquet garni and discard it. For the final touch, we'll sprinkle on some fresh chopped parsley. Then we're done. And my friends, this is our coq au vin. This classic French dish is full of many great flavors. It's definitely a wonderful recipe to serve for any special occasion or for the holidays. It might have many steps, but that's what makes it so incredibly delicious. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more. In. Until next time, my friends. Bon appétit!